good morning dear students let's continue the class on nouns today we will wind up the class by continuing the rest of the part that is there regarding nouns today we will learn first about collective nouns already i have mentioned what is collective noun as a collection of naming words collection uh, or a group okay we'll see it in detail now we have heard a family a team a community a choir a band etc or whatever is given here all these are used before a group of something a group of a place a group of people animals or things these collective nouns will be used with a singular verb or plural verb see for example the crowd was orderly the crowd were clapping yelling and cheering okay and in the second part it refers to each individual that is why it is given in plural see were is used to the and the first part it is was only okay so it can be used both with singular as well as plural verbs these are other examples for collective nouns crowd gang company panel class platoon etc not only for people even for animals we use collective nouns these are some examples herd litter pride drove brood school swarm pack flock troop pod gaggle etc we not only use these collective nouns for, nouns for people or animals or living objects to see these are some other examples bunch cluster bouquet range fleet grove string deck flight suit set etc see these examples a crowd of people gang of football fans flock of sheep flock of birds herd of goats herd of cows pack of wolves pack of dogs shoal of fish swarm of bees team of doctors team of reporters the crew of ship the staff row of cottages clump of trees i hope you all understood what is collective nouns although you know it before now we move on to the next topic that is countable nouns and uncountable nouns these are some examples from the word itself you must have understood what is countable and what is uncountable nouns countable nouns are the nouns which can be counted oh uncountable nouns are the nouns which we cannot count see the examples an apple okay so we can count one apple two apples three apples etc whereas we cannot count coffee milk money pasta etc all these uncountable nouns are used in terms of singular only whereas the countable nouns have singular as well as plural these are some of the examples apple pineapple cucumber strawberry grape etc all these have singular as well as plural forms we can use a number or an article before countable nouns like a and the or one two etc with countable nouns we can use singular verb or plural verb according to the uh, forms according to the uh, plural forms and singular forms if it is a single apple we will use singular verb if it is a plural 
um, noun we will use plural in other words uh, before countable nouns a determiner can be used what is a determiner a determiner is used to modify a noun it indicates reference to something specific or of a particular type that is followed by a noun okay we will see what are the determiners okay these are the types of determiners first one articles we already know which are the articles a and the okay and you know definite article the and a and an are called indefinite articles you know that since definite article point out a particular thing we use the okay so a is used before consonant and is used before vowel sounds okay that means these are used before a noun examples close the door please how good a friend could you please give me an apple so all these um tell about articles or before that it before a noun it modifies by using the number the second determiners is demonstratives we already have learned possessive adjectives possessive pronouns demonstrative adjectives demonstrative pronouns etc so this these that and those are used before nouns they are called demonstratives and these are determiners another one is possessive adjectives my your his her its our your their etc all these are used before nouns to qualify it so these are called determiners the fourth type of determiners are quantifiers quantify you from that you will understand what what is the meaning of it it shows uh, the measurement okay some any are used before nouns okay some any are used before countable plural nouns and uncountable nouns okay and there are some books some is used in questions also and would you like some bread can i have some water so these are used before countable and uncountable nouns whereas any is used only before negatives or interrogatives he hasn't got any cheese have you got any friends so this will be used only with negatives and questions the next type of determiners is are a lot of much many they indicate a large quantity of something a lot is used with countable nouns and uncountable nouns it's used for affirmatives in spoken or informal english there are a lot of students in this class so that is used before countable plurals or uncountable nouns students that is countable plural okay there are other quantifiers like much that is used with countables and negatives and interrogatives haven't you got much money how much bread have you got okay this is these are used with uncountables and with negatives and interrogatives many is used with countable plural nouns in negatives and interrogatives countables which can be counted how many students are there in classroom there aren't many books okay so see this examples the next type type of quantifiers which are determiners are little a little few a few etc they indicate quantity okay little a little is used with uncountable nouns whereas few and a few are used with countable nouns okay so have you got a little money uh, that means a small 
a amount of there are few tourists here today that uh, that is used before countable nouns money is uncountable whereas tourist uh, countable nouns without the article the words have a limiting or negative meaning that means little means negative few means negative so there must be articles a the last type of quantifiers is no you know definitely it indicates a negative meaning it is used with both countables and uncountable nouns so there are no pencils that means negative and i have no money means i haven't any money i haven't got any money so i think it's clear for you okay we wind up the class before that we will recall what we have learned in this lesson first we have learned the types of nouns and we identified the types of nouns i think now you can say are uh, the types of nouns and in each type you can um number a number of nouns okay and after that we have learned countable and uncountable nouns and we told that before these nouns is these countable and uncountable nouns or before nouns we use determiners determiners modify the nouns it uh, that means or it uh, will be used before a noun etc keep in mind all this and learn in from page number 6 which are the types of determiners and also it is there in my class please study that by heart it determiners and um the homework that is there for you today are page number 5 d and page number 6 e page number 7 f this exercise you must do it and submit today itself before 6 o'clock okay if you have any doubts please contact me personally at any time you can contact you are free to call me okay thank you with this we conclude our lesson on nouns